has been said, the acronym for FEAR, F-E-A-R, is false evidence appearing real. This is really true because fear is paralyzing and most of what we think is going to happen doesn't. I want you to listen to one of my early episodes called Do It Afraid. I have to warn you, I sound as nervous as I was being new at podcasting, but it is my hope and prayer that after listening to the content, you will find the courage to do it afraid. Today, I want to talk about courage and what it really means. By definition, courage is the ability to do that thing that frightens one or strength in the face of pain or grief. I would bet that most of us think of courage as Tarzan pounding his chest in confidence. That is the glamorized and the media-driven definition of courage. The true meaning of courage is more like the little engine in the book, The Little Engine That Could, that repeats to himself over and over again as he faces climbing a daunting hill, I think I can, I think I can. Courage exemplified is the underdog in a boxing match who keeps fighting again and sometimes wins. Winning, however, is not required to be courageous. Being willing to do it afraid is required. There's a scripture that tells us to be strong and courageous, and another that says, take courage, don't let your hands be weak, for your work will be rewarded. John Wayne is quoted as saying, courage is being scared to death but saddling up anyway. Do you see a pattern here? You don't become courageous when fear leaves. As I said earlier, you do it afraid. That is true courage. Because life is not always going to present itself in ways that make hard, daunting, big, or new things easy for us. Anything really big or unfamiliar is always going to cause you to tremble just a little bit. But we tend to be creatures of habit and we like to know the next step or the outcome before launching out into the deep. Um, So when faced with something that threatens our security or our comfort, we tend to become a little bit afraid. The point is, don't let fear stop you. I believe fear is one of the most, if not the most, paralyzing issues that, you know, we face in our lives. Fear is always asking why. Courage is asking why not. Fear says, what if you fail? Courage says, what if you succeed? Fear wants you to note everything that could go wrong. Courage encourages you to consider everything that could go right. Courage will always propel you forward or challenge you to do it or to try it afraid. Fear will cause you to stand still. There's a quote. Sometimes fear does not subside and you must do it afraid. There's another quote. Courage doesn't mean you don't get afraid. It means you don't let fear stop you. And yet another. Courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is doing what you want to do or need to do in the face of fear. You can't wait until you don't feel fear because fear is always going to be present and always going to try to stop you. So this thing called life is always going to present us with challenges and opportunities and open doors that will, you know, could cause us to be fearful. Having a a baby as a new and first time mom, you know, getting a, a big job promotion, having to, you know, do public speaking as a very shy person investing money, making a big geographical move, launching, you know, a new business. All of these examples and so many others that you and I can probably think of could paralyze us with fear if we let fear stop us. Today, I'm encouraging you and myself to not let fear get in the way of living your best life, of trying new things or of taking advantage of opportunities, relationships and experiences that life has to offer you. Learn to do things afraid. Otherwise, you might find yourself at the end of your life reflecting on what would have, what could have, what should have happened in your life, whereas the pathways of doing it afraid may have led to some of your greatest life rewards and accomplishments and achievements and events and happiness. The phrase, do not be afraid, is written in the Bible 365 times, one for every day of the year. That's a daily reminder from God to live every day being fearless. I'm going to leave you with five takeaway words. They are, be courageous, do it afraid. Bye for now.